Welcome to Spar. My name is Chad Studer, and we're going to be sharing InfraWorks 2014 software where we captured using photographs to create a point cloud and brought it into InfraWorks. So over 100 photos were taken utilizing a helicopter using the free software that is available online. You can stitch the photos together. So if you get a chance, definitely go out and try your own project. There's over 200 a day getting put together currently. Once we have the photos stitched together, we can open up the RCP file. And you'll see the results from the photos stitched together create a point top. If we make the photos visible, we can see from above. And now we're going to skip over to InfraWorks where we've imported some aerial photographs. You'll notice as we seamlessly navigate throughout the model, we can pan, zoom, and tilt. And you can see it's completely 2D photogrammetry at this point. This is a new feature to Autodesk InfraWorks 2014 is the ability to bring in point clouds. In this case, we're going to bring in the one that was stitched together from the photos. And we can place it manually or if we have a known location, we could actually put in the latitude and longitude and it would drop right into place, utilizing the correct coordinate system. For this example, again, we're just using a, a Marriott site, a hotel. But we could also bring in mobile scanning or any terrestrial scanning, static scanning, any point cloud that you would like to bring in that was indexed using Autodesk Recap. As you can see, navigating it's very easy. There's no regens or time delays. Now we're virtually looking at a 3D point cloud. It was dropped in and put together from the phone. At this point, typically we could go out. We could bring in some more shape file information to design the roads or pipes in 3D. We're going to keep this one short. We're just kind of showing a line line of sight from the location of the project or the point cloud. We can edit the camera and the site to get exact locations. We can also insert other geometry or models around the site. Incredible and easy, efficient way to work with point cloud data to show existing conditions and conceptual design. We can dress up the model with hardly, you know, there's no advanced features in here as far as dressing this up. It's very simple. So we can simply click on the water, I draw a polyline, and I don't have to go create a map or a material. It automatically shows the water flowing. We can add vegetation. We can just as easy add the vegetation, we could add the roadway. So you can draw a center line of a road, tell it if it's two lanes, four lanes, if it's medians, we can put lights on both sides. Uh, as well as railroads and pipe information for other 3D objects. As you can see, it's very intuitive and simple to add the information. Thank you for joining us in the presentation. Point Clouds in InfraWorks.